Yes, Minister, 1986, Grand Design. Tell me, General, where's the hotline? Which one? The one to Russia. The red hotline, sir? Is it? It's in Downing Street. I get through to the Soviet president? Very accurately, yes. Very accurately? That's what we tell journalists. We did once get through to the Kremlin, but only to the switchboard operator. Couldn't the operator put you through? Never found out. Didn't speak much English. How often is it tested? Not too often. Creates unnecessary panic at the other end. A panic is a good thing to avoid when nuclear weapons are concerned. Yes. Now this is it. Oh, good. What is it? The trigger, Prime Minister. The trigger? Nuclear trigger at the bottom? This? Indirectly? Yes. This is the teletox communication in NH Northwood. You send a coded message, a Northwood Teletex operator sends a authentication signal. So he knows it's from you. When the instructions have been authenticated, Northwood sends a command to Polaris submarine. They press the button. Just like that. Just like that. When I say so. When you say so. Wouldn't anyone argue with me? Serving officers obey your orders without question. What if I get drunk? On the whole, it would be safer if you didn't. Blimey, it's your job you wanted it, Prime Minister. Supposing I were to get off my rocker, the cabinet might notice. I wouldn't count on it. Seriously, supposing I did and changed my mind, that's all. No one would ever know, would they? How many bombs are there? Four Polaris submarines, 16 missiles in each. But how many actual bombs? 192. Each, each one at least five times the power of a Russian bomb. You're thinking? Not many. Not very many, I don't know. Seems enough, not with 12,000 Soviet missiles trained in Britain waiting for a trolley. 12,000? Right, bum. Britain's always found fault against the odds. You're mad about Britain. Yes, and we have a great deal of firepower. But yet we got a trident. Is that all? Hmm. So in this emergency, I would have to meet, have an instant decision, make an instant decision. No, you probably have 12 hours. 12 hours? Shouldn't you be doing something about this? Yes, but for 20 years, politicians said you can't afford to be, conven- you can't afford the conventional forces. Conventional forces, very expensive, come Prime Minister. Much cheaper just to press a button. So how long should we be le- we allow for this meeting? 22 hours, fine. It's only New Zealand. It's only New Zealand High Commissioner. Is it 72 hours a bit generous? I was just thinking how long, long we got to hold the, hold the Russians. We persuade Americans to strengthen their conventional forces. I don't think it makes much difference. American troops in Germany, all so dragrian. You don't know which side they're on anyway. During the last NATO exercise, the US troops, his person picnicked in the woods with lady soldiers. What about the other NATO armies? They're all right. On weekends, anyway. On weekends, the Dutch, Danish and Belgium armies go home on the week for the weekend. So Russians have to invade for them to do it between Monday and Fridays. And this one, I know, I know. It, I'm sure the Russians that, if they, if it, is this one you know? If I know it, I'm sure the Russians do. Kremlin usually gets NATO information with filters through the number 10. So it comes back to the Trident when it comes, if it works, if it works. What do you mean? Normally, when new weapons are delivered, the voids don't fit the ends of the rockets. That's what happened to Polaris. You know that sort of thing? Wiring faults, microstrip, for the, uh, we can fight Polaris for some years. Crews is probably the same. Try it might be too. It should have the manufacturer. We should take the manufacturer to court. You couldn't risk the publicity security. They know it. We could change the manufacturers. We do all the time. Manufacturers know that too. That's why torpedo land in a sandwich. Of course. Of well, course. Of course. I didn't read that in the papers. Of course not. They have to cover up. The members just found a new bunker on the 7th uh, February the next morning. So the torpedoes didn't work either. No. Only new ones. The ones, others are fine. The others are lying during the Second War. Only about 40 years ago. They had a lot of testing. You can't afford them. You can't afford that with the modern ones. Why not? Well, if there's nuclear war, it wouldn't last long enough for the weapons to be tested. And there are other things I don't know, you don't, you don't know about. UK defence, I don't know, Prime Minister. I don't know what you know. 
Don't know. Government chief scientific officer sees a fish problem differently from the MOD. I see, I'd like to see him now. A late drink might be wiser. Better not, better not, better not to get the cabinet office and let, let the cabinet office know. So Humphreys gets upset. He doesn't regard it, him as one of us. I thought he won the DSO at Anthem. Doesn't make up for the speaking with an Astrid accent. He didn't go to Oxford or Cambridge. Didn't even go to LSE. Prime Minister, you believe in nuclear deterrent? Oh yes, why? Pardon? Why? Because it deters. Mm, po. Pardon? Hmm, who does it deter? The Russians from attacking us. Why? Pardon? Why? They know if they launched an attack, I press the button. You would? Well, wouldn't I? Well, you will, will, will would you? The life is out. Yes, I certainly would. Well, yes, I, f- I think I certainly would. Yes. What about the Russians? What about, what is the life so Russians invade Western Europe? You te- only had 12 hours to decide. So you're saying the last of all is the first response, huh? I am, but I don't need to worry. Why should the Russians annex the whole of Europe? They can't it, control Afghanistan. So if you try, if you try anything, try anything, it'll be salami tactics. Salami tactics? Slice by slice, one small piece at a time. So you press the button, if they invade West Berlin, it all depends. Oh, what's the one? Riots in West Berlin, buildings in flames. East New York Fire Brigade crosses the border to help. Will you press the button? The East of German police come with them. A button? Institute some troops just uh, for riot control, they say. Then the East German troops are replaced by Russian troops. Button when the Russian, then the Russian troops don't go. They invite to stay to sports. If I to stay to support civilian administration, civil administration closes rows and temp of Roman port. Now you press the button. I need the time to think about it. Twelve hours. Have I? You're inventing this. You, you are Prime Minister today. Phone might ring now from NATO. Echo. Hello? Yes? Name and tell Echo. Echo Prime Minister. Can you visit their annual conference in April? I thought I could. I don't know, I'm not so sure now. Yes, in hour two, the Russian army incident, accidentally on purpose, across the West German frontier. Is this the last front result? No, right now we're free. Suppose the Russians have invaded West Germany, Belgium, Holland, France, suppose the tanks and troops have reached the Russian channel, poised to invade. Is that the last result? No. Why not? They only fight a nuclear war to defend ourselves. They will be committing suicide. So what is the last result? Piccadilly, Watford Gap, Service Station, the Reform Club? Maybe the nuclear deterrent does no makes no sense. Yes, it does. If Russians or Americans had the bomb, so must the other side. I keep Polaris just in case. We're opposing Colonel Spend five fifteen billion spend the fifteen billion spend on conventional you stay with conventional war weapon forces. You won't really press a button. I might if I had no choice. You never had to, you never put you in a situation where you had no choice. The stick to salami tactics, suppose we cancel Trident and cancel fifteen billion to co- and channel fifteen billion to, co- to conventional forces. What do we need to spend it on? Tanks? Do we spend it on ET extraterrestrials? Merchant technology. Now, what's that? Smart missiles, target mis- finding, infrared. What well, who would operate this ET? A large conventional army, a conven- large convention. I've got on here, wait a minute. I think I can See how to do this. First, we cancel Trident. Yes, we can't buy crews either. Yes, we introduce constriction. Yes, not only do we solve our defence problems, we solve our unemployment problems as well. Isn't constriction a courageous policy? Courageous? Oh my God, it is. No, no. In times of full unemployment, it would be. But we just we would give unemployed young people something to do. We teach them trades and skills. We might even teach them to write. Read. A gun the army never discharged anyone who was illiterate. We could have, we made, could not make them wash. We could give them comprehensive education and make up for the comprehensive education. Call it natural service, send the young people out to the community services. Well, if our one policy, we solve our defence, educational, unemployment problems. This is wonderful. I see it all now. A new deal for England. Britain. Hack, hackers. Grand design. From time to time in our great Island story. If all the one man to lead people out of the pile of the shadow into sunlight, uplands of peace and prosperity. Why well, didn't I think this before? Because we only just met. 
Hello, darling. What's well, for lunch? You tell me. Are you going somewhere? Voluntary service committee. Did I tell you? Yes, of course. I just thought of, thought of scrambled, you scrambled eggs or something. I think there's no, some eggs in the fridge. You want me to do it? We agreed. I'll carry on with my work. Yes, of course. Foreign secretary. Office telegrams, prime minister. But put them near. Over there. I'm bad enough living in a fish bowl. Every time I want to go out, I have to walk out with a dozen journalists and 50 gulping tourists. There's no privacy anyway. That's true, not true. Sorry, Prime Minister. That's a good check. Can I just look around? Yes, carry on. Privacy. You can always walk in the garden. What, with about 50, 60 people staying at you? It's like exercising a prison yard. You pay rent for the place, place. You should pay, you, you should pay us. At least it's quiet. Oh, usually been going on since last past last last past seven. They got to practice somewhere. Why here? That's a home guards parade. All clear, Prime Minister. Annie, you must realise a Korean public service involved is some sacrifice. Fine, sacrifice his lunch. I'm late. I'm hungry. Ah, what do you have for your lunch? Half a jockey bar. What's? Where's the other half? Oh, Bernard. Yes, Prime Minister. You had a good lunch. Oh, quite good. Where did you have it? In a common, common cabinet mess. Three courses? Oh, yes. Wine. Glass of curry? Yes. Would you like to know what I had for my lunch? Did you want me? Did you want, did you want me, Prime Minister? Nothing. Are you dieting? It seems that these facilities are feeding you. With all the private secretaries, the cabinet office, press office, and messages. But not for me. Not for me. I live here. Can't Mrs. Hacker cook for you? She doesn't know how to work. We'll get you cook. We'll pay for it. You will. How much? 8000 to 10000 a year. Can't afford that. Talk to the cabinet secretary. Bring him here to now. You're due here in any minute. Shall we press on with the affairs of the nation? Stuff the affairs of the nation. I want to cook. I want, I will look into it. Malcolm Warren from the press office. Like a word. I'll bring him in. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. Good afternoon, Malcolm. Could we keep this brief? Yes. Two things. First, we discuss your first appearance on TV as Prime Minister. Perhaps we ought to leave it until we're time to do it thoroughly. What's the other thing? Your official visit to Washington. What about it? A lot of press want to come. Let them. It'd be, it'd be very expensive, Malcolm. I should be, be standing on the White House lawn side by side, President of the United States. That's your anthems. Two world leaders together. We will tell the world about happy relationship, our unity is resolved. A few words perhaps about my own courage, wisdom, statesmanship. Can't you, can't you realise how important this is to me? Well, not to me, to Britain. Our place in the world, my place in history books. Yes, Prime Minister. Come in, Humphrey. Thank you, Malcolm. Malcolm, Humphrey. I've been thinking, good. I've been Prime Minister for, let me see, three days now. Be a big compliment, be who you are. Not fishing compliments, though. No, it has been well, going well. Oh, indeed, it's nice to be able to reward one's old allies. Was Sir Ron Jones pleased with his peerage? Yes, Prime Minister. He said his members would be delighted. His members? Oh, oh, his union, the National Federation. I didn't mean him. I meant our bank bancher. I wanted to give him a peerage to Ron Jones. Not Ron Jones. Bloody hell. Is there any, is there any consolation? He was awfully pleased. But he was. What are, you going, what are you going to do about Ron Jones' peerage? Give him one too, Prime Minister. We can't send two Lord John, Ron Jones to the house. I look like a job lot. Got to give him something. Does he watch TV and television? Hasn't got, hasn't got a set. Fine. Make him a governor at the BBC. Anything else? Yes, one more small thing. I need a cook housekeeper for the flat. You can advertise. No, a government cook house, cook housewife. Keeper. That could be difficult. Why? It's a private home. Just want someone to cook for lunch. It's not unreasonable. No, it's not just, it, it, no, just not possible. I can blow up the world, but not ask for scrambled eggs. You can ask for them. 
Well, if I was the government ambassador, that's okay. Official agreement on the hospitality. We provide seven courses meal for, with wine and brandy. The ambassador's lunch is government business. Mine isn't? That is so, and the ambassador's fine, Bernard. Get a diary on Monday. I have lunch with the German ambassador. On Tuesday, with the French ambassador. On Wednesday, with the American ambassador. On Thursday, with the New Zealand High Commission, Commissioner. How many countries in the UN? 158. It takes six months. Then we start round again. You can't have lunch with the ambassadors every day. There'll be no other. There would be other official lunches, even better. We fill up the old gaps. The foreign Commonwealth Office might have some views on that. They say that one Prime Minister lunch with an ambassador destroys two years of patient diplomacy. I'm not quite sure how to react to 158. It's absurd that no one caters for us here. Been like that for 250 years. That's a clinching argument. For 250 years, yes. Had it been the clinching argument for 250 years? 50 years ago. I had been, it had been the clinching argument for 200 years, 100 years ago, sorry, Humphrey. I want a cook, housekeeper. I want you to see that it's paid for. Well, let me put it like this. Do you want the press to announce that your first act of Prime Minister was to give yourself a salary increase of 8,000 to 10,000? We wouldn't tell them. We have no alternative, Prime Minister. Expenses must be published. In no way we can't tell them. Open government, freedom of information. We do always tell the press freely and frankly anything. They could easily find out the other way. There, there must be some solution. There had been, hasn't been for 250 years. Nay, may we discuss government business? We were just saying that you've been taught. You were just saying what you've been thinking. Oh, yes. We agreed that so far my premiership has been a great success indeed. I've been asking myself, what can I do to con- continue to assist, well, assist over your considered mastery in inevitability? No, Humphreys, the Prime Minister must be firm. Indeed. How about the firm mastery in inevitability? Oh, I should be firm. I decided to cancel Tyrant, cancel $15 million, $15 million in conventional forces and reduce its constriction. One stroke we should sell the defence, balance the payments, unemployment and education problems all at once. We say, Humphrey, you can't really organise the entire defence of the realm just like that. I'm Prime Minister, I have the power, yes. The law and constitution that constraints an administrative president, budgetary facility and cabinet, cabinet government. You can buy a cruise instead. No, no more nuclear weapons. But, Prime Minister, you're not a secret analyst. No, we still have Polaris, Paris's ranchette old system. As Russians might develop a ballistic missile defense system, which could intercept Polaris. But by when, in strategic terms, any day now? By what year precisely? 2020. Then sooner than you think. Are you saying this nuclear defense system could stop all 972, 192 Polaris missiles? Not all, virtually all, 72, 7%. It would leave five bombs that could get through, a mere five. Bletry, Moscow, Leningrad, and Moskmysk. Yes, that's about it. That's all. And cut enough to make the Russians stop and drink, think. But that's not fair. We tried that we could liberate the whole Western Europe. I don't want to. It's deterrent bluff. I probably wouldn't use it. I don't know. I don't. They don't know. You probably wouldn't. They probably do. Yes, probably. They wouldn't. They certainly don't. They don't. don't they cert. They, but they can't certainly know. They probably certainly know. Yes, but they probably certainly know that you probably wouldn't. They didn't certainly know that. Although you wouldn't, probably wouldn't. Have, there's no possibility. Probability. There certainly would. What? And it all boils down to a simple issue. You are the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Shouldn't Great Britain have the best? Yes, of course. If you walked in the nuclear missile showroom, you would buy Trident. It's lovely, it's elegant, it's beautiful. It's quite simply the best, and Britain should have the best. In the world of nuclear missiles, it's the silver row, sky, suit, the skulls, Kreuz, Gazette, the Chateau, Leith, 1945. Nuclear missile, Harrods would sell you. What can Morgan say? It costs 15 billion. We don't need it. And you can say that about, any, about anything at Harold's. Oh, General, I was hoping you would have a word with you. I want you to stand you out of something. You, you're not like it. Tell me the worst. I would be un, very unpopular with services. I'm planning to cancel Trident. Good idea. Now, hold on. Don't jump in too quickly. Not go trying to argue. What do you say? It's a good idea. 
You have fever? Why? You couldn't need it. Complete waste of time, money. That's what they said. You're right. The whole defence staff agreed. Navy want to keep it. Take away Trident, and they hardly have a role left. RF, you could ask them if you're interested in opinion of garage mechanics. They want to keep it. They want to drop the bomb from the airplane. They're just like dropping things on people, but they go good at it. Couldn't even close the runway at Port Stanley. Probably never find the Moscow. They did. If they did, they miss it. How did you get, we get the policies through if the only army is in favour? As you know, the Chief of Defence job is becoming vacant. Technically, it's an army, navy term. But it's your decision. You appoint a soldier. It's up to you, General. Why don't aren't the most aren't you the most senior soldier? As it happens, I believe I am. Thank you. Good advice, Prime Minister. This is Mrs. Gossip. It's a funny thing. What I come across a Prime Minister with a bit of sense, really? Where? Which is a lucky, well, which is lucky country one hours. Cancelling Trident. Could I be my ears? I praise you're happy about re- introducing conscription. He didn't say anything about conscription, slashes and employment, win votes, an elite army, best in the world, professional, tough, disciplined. You don't bring in a mob of punks and freaks and junkies and raff raff. Called a million football hooligans, peeling potatoes all the shot. I thought you might say that. Just be like, it'd be just like a, just like an ordinary army, like the one that won the last war. All this opportunity, quality nonsense, like America. They don't know if the troops post to them, or when, or women, or that. Not only, not until they arrive. Sometimes, not even, even then. Quiet. Much better to keep trident. I thought you might say that. You must stop him. Oh, can't just. Just can't stop, Prime Minister. What can we do? We must slow him down. After a few months, uh, most most Prime Minister, new Prime Ministers are more or less ground a halt anyway. Okay. A word of an American professor tomorrow morning. Good idea. Yeah, One can't stop a Prime Minister. What can we do? We must slow him down. After a few months, most new Prime Ministers have more or less got ground to a halt anyway. I've got a, a word American Ambassador tomorrow morning. Got a dear. I thought you'd say that. Oh, hello. I want you to make sure that the BBC and ITN get good coverage of the White House lawn. Two of me and the President. That's maybe one more, well, more for our coverage inside the White House. Splendid. There'll be coverage on me and the President. I start the talks the next day. And the President will say goodbye to me. I hope he takes my elbow with his left hand. Is that the West German Chancellor? Any chance of showing that beforehand with the Embassy? That could be difficult. Could you look at the Cabinet agenda? I don't know what we have embassies for. Any time you ask them to do anything really important for Britain, for Britain, well. What were you discussing scrapping Trident? Indeed we were, Prime Minister. But I thought the first instance you might think it wiser to go in to thoroughly review all the indications we are discussing the defence of the realm. They're trying to stop me, Humphrey. No, but the cabinet have all the, must have all the facts. That's a novel idea. Is there a special reason why I thought you want might want me to leave it for a while? Learn from the American ambassador informally. They wouldn't 
You will be very upset you have cancelled Trident. Not, uh, not order another one, uh, one of the missiles, another, uh, their missiles instead. Oh, I might, I might as well have it out with the President. That's the point in general. You're meeting with the President. Must be agreed in advance. You can't just go over there for a chat. Why not? Well, you do, you must, you not, why well, not think of anything to say? This proposal of yours will be put to Americans. It might, well, there will be a change of plan. What change of plan? The meeting will be not with the President. Being entertained by the Vice President. The Vice President? Can't be serious. I'm afraid so, Prime Minister. Even Boswana was met by the President. I certainly knew Boswana is that it didn't just cancel an order for Trident. I surely explained that the Prime President a Qatar or bruise his thumb or something, fell asleep perhaps. In meeting with the President is vital for PR. They could that, then we postpone a Trident discussion by a missive show that this is a new mind and firm hand at number 10. He must be seen to make his mark. But you'll have, Prime Minister. Now, a cook set second for the cabinet office set canteen to cook lunch for me here in the flat, something that none of your predecessors have ever accomplished have placed in history books. I say, we've shown you them who's in charge, haven't we? Indeed, we have, Prime Minister, a new mind, a new firm hand of Trident. Place in the history books, you say.